What good, y'all? Welcome back to another brand new video, man. I already know what your boy is getting into right here, man. This ain't no vlog, ain't nothing like that, bro. This is a how to video. This is a how to get curly dreads instantly. I really wanted to do this video because I've been getting a lot of comments, like so many comments. Like, bro, I'm gonna pop them up while I'm talking. I've been getting so many comments and stuff like that. People be, Chris, how'd you get your dreads like that? What did you do? Uh, you know, I'm just getting so many questions. And so I'm like, bro, I'm tired of texting it. I'm tired of saying the same exact thing. Let me just make a whole entire YouTube video so people can figure out how I did it and what I did. But first, that I thank y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man, for all of the support, man. Uh, the support has been wild on here. But you already know if you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and comment something down below down in the comment section. But hey, you already know why we here. I will get right into this. So let's go and jump right into this, man. Let's turn up. All right, y'all. So first, I want to say for those people that was asking me, how did I do that? How did I do that? And stuff like that. First, I'm telling you, you cannot get the same dress that I got. Everybody's dress is different, bro. So first of all, find your own wave and be comfortable with you. And you know what I mean? Just rock your dress the way you want to rock your dress and do your thing. This was the very first thing I do want to say. Because I remember, I be, you know, I be talking to people and a lot of people be like, bro, I want to get my dress like yours, though. Or I want to get my dress like this person. It's good to be inspired, but you can't, man. Have your own sauce, bro. Have your own sauce for show. My hair is naturally curly. That's the very first thing I will say, and I will set out right there, man. You As you see in these pictures, bro, my hair is naturally curly right there and stuff like that. I didn't have no problem when it, when it came to the curly part. I didn't have to really do the water thing or nothing like that. But I didn't boom. You first wondering, like, Chris, what do you mean instantly? How could you get instant dreads? Let me tell you. This right here. You're like, bro, what is this? This is a crochet needle. Uh, I got this crochet needle from, uh, who, what's his name? I forgot dude's name. He's a YouTuber. It's like, I think his name is like Gunther or something like that. I forgot. But shout out to him. Man, I remember I got this off of him. And, well, not off of him, but like off of his page type stuff, right? I got this, bro. The crochet needle will lock your dreads instantly. But that's the only thing about it. Like, if you really do want dreads and you're 1,000% sure about it, the crochet needles the right way and you want them instantly crochet needles right the right way and i will be showing y'all how to use it eventually throughout uh throughout this video one one good method one good method i will say is the two strand twist bro i was doing the two strand twist like crazy don't mind the video y'all i apologize for the video but as you can see i would literally just two strand twist my hair i would i was just two strand twisted and honestly that's also kind of how I was actually about to do my dreads at first. I was going to honestly start my dreads off by doing two strand twists. But that's the thing. I wasn't making the two strand twists too big. I mean, too thick or too skinny. You know, I wanted literally in between. And that's literally what I did. So then at first I was sitting there thinking like, hmm, I could, I could keep it. But then I didn't end up liking it. I ended up getting, I ended up looking all dingy and stuff throughout the days and stuff like that. And I was like, bro, nah. I said, forget it, bro. I'm gonna just take out the two strand twists. So I did. Took them out and bowed. This way it will look like and stuff like that. So then, what I would do while my hair is looking like that, you know, reminds me of two strand twists. So I have two different strands. I would literally just twist those strands and stuff by itself. Just twist them by itself and then bow. That's a dread. That's a dread. That's a dread. That's a dread. And that's the thing. I did not go the traditional route at all. I was like, bro, I don't want that. Like me, I did not want the little square look or anything. I didn't want none of that look type, type in my head. It's just not, it's just me though. It's just me personally. Me, I don't, I just, I didn't really care for the neat look or whatever. Like my hair still look good, still look neat and stuff like that. But it was also like a free form type thing. Because like I said, I just wasn't down for that. Alright, so then I'm going to cap. Right here y'all, this is kind of where I kind of lost my mind. I won't even cap to y'all. So, at one point, I got tired of it. I was like, bro, I didn't like it. So I ended up watching right here, did that. And then I ended up doing this shit like Chris, bro, what the hell is this? This is two strand twist for sure, but I decided to kind of go a little bit skinnier because I was like, I right, I think I, I think I kind of want them a little bit more skinnier. And then, yeah, nah, let me just show you the video. So then I have this right here. It was terrible. It was bad. I will never do this again. You see it standing up. Like I'm talking about, I had the, I had, I literally had on a bonnet and everything. It is still turning. You know what I mean? It was just bad overall, y'all. And I promise you. I said, no, forget it. I literally took those out. Bro, at first, I did not think I could take those out because they were so hard to get out, bro. It was so tiny and stuff. But I eventually took them all out. And I said, bro, F that. Not doing it again. No. So I said, nah, forget that. X that out. I went to the same exact route again, bro. Right here, look. As y'all can see, the regular two-strand twist. And as y'all can see, too, my hair, too, is actually getting longer right here. But, yeah, you know, regular two-strand twist. 
I was just chilling. It was a neat look. I love the look, and I still love the look still to this day. So, bam. This is when I decided to honestly do my dreads. I actually sat there and told myself, I was like, bro, I want dreads. So, what I did was I grabbed the two strand twist, and you know, like I said, I didn't want them too thick, and I didn't want them too skinny. So, I would literally just grab like a, a good amount. And then what I would do, ladies and gentlemen, I would grab this, grab this tool right here, and I will be showing y'all how to do this right here. So I will grab this tool right here, and like for instance, I have to put some of my dreads together a little bit. Like at the, it's like at the ends and stuff, it's still not good. So bow, I take this right here. Y'all see that? Bow. Y'all see all that hair, and y'all see how you see how it's not together and stuff. So what I would do, I would take this. Can y'all even see that? So then look, you have two different parts. You have like you have the hook part and stuff right here. And you know, a little back part and stuff. Obviously, you're gonna take the hook part, you're gonna take it, you're gonna put it, you're gonna put it in, but you're gonna you're gonna put it in on one dread, right? And then you're gonna intertwine it across like that. Uh and then sp spin it, put it in, and then just go in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, just like that. And then it's gonna intertwine, it's gonna lock, and then just keep on twisting it. Uh, like you like Chris, I'm still confused on what you mean by that. All you doing is you're just you're just taking just taking the hair and just putting it on top, twisting it, taking the hair, putting it on top, twisting it, taking the hair, putting it on top. Let me share. I want to share one more time. I have I have a couple. I have a couple. I still I still need to put together. Won't even lie. So look, this is a perfect example. Y'all see this one right here? See this one right here? Bow. You like uh? So look, I'm going uh, I'm gonna twist it first, twist it together just like that, uh, twist it just like that, right? And then you see the hair, hair at the bottom. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab that, the one, the part I just twisted. I'm gonna put it in here, put it in there, uh, uh, put it on top, twist it. That's, that's literally what I did to, to my whole entire head. I was just doing that. Whenever it came to like this look, as you can see like right here, right here in the video, it kind of stands out and stuff more because you're instantly locking them and stuff like that. And on top of that, you asking Chris, what did you use? I do not use gel. I don't use nothing like that for my hair. I don't. I use like regular smegular moisturizer like you're supposed to use. Like, well, I'm not gonna say like you're supposed to use. I, I ain't ready to tell you what you're, what you're supposed to use. This is for my hair. Me, I don't like gel. For me, I feel like it causes a lot of buildup. But I'll show y'all what I use. So I use the Shea Moisture right here. So this is what I use right here, ladies and gentlemen. If you do want to use what I use, I use that. And I don't have the shampoo right now, but I do use the shampoo too. But this is the conditioner too I use. I use this right here. Bow. That right there is not sponsored, but if you do want sponsor your boys, well, I'm sponsor your boy, you hear me? But yeah, that's what I do. And I'm like, Chris, uh, you know, whenever it came to it, though, did you wash your hair like normal? Yes, I would wash my hair like it was normal, bro. Like, I would, like, I would literally wash my hair like I had normal hair, like like a normal afro or something like that. Like, I would not wait months and days to not to wash my hair. I couldn't. Like, I tried it. It itched. It caused so much build up too. My hair, my head was just itching, bro. It was just itching, just itching. Like I couldn't take it no more. So I was like, bro, let me forget that. And I will say honestly, I like I keep it, but my personal opinion when it comes to the traditional route and having to wait and wash your hair, me, I don't like it. I'm not gonna do it. I will still not tell you, bro. Wash your hair. It's more. I feel like it's more healthier too. Instead of waiting and letting all that stuff build up and stuff, and uh, but also too, your dreads do need water too. It needs water. The water will help, and it will also help lock your head too. Me, I have never had no retwist. I did all the retwists and stuff like by myself. Like I never had nobody else do it. So I will legit bow. So like this is like legit one of the times. But as you can see, if you look real close, you know what I mean. You have some. You have some that is thinner than others. That's what I had to end up, you know, come to the realization of what I, you know, what I chose to do. That's the one thing about, about doing the crochet needle. Whenever you do it, you do it. That's, you know what I mean? And this is like, like, this is literally me retwisting my head right here. Part my head just like that and just retwist it. And this is literally a fresh haircut, fresh retwist and stuff like that. Every single day, I was just probably, probably just twisting my head and stuff together. Just doing that, just chilling. Constantly doing that too and rubbing them together. It's, it's gonna make your head It's gonna make your dreads and stuff a lot tighter and a lot quicker and stuff too because you're constantly causing that friction together Now I will say me. I used to use do-rags. Don't use do-rags. If you watching this Don't not use do-rags. Don't use do-rags. Do-rags is not good for your head Do you hear the words that is coming my mouth? Use a bonnet at all times. That's what I use. 
I have like three bindings right now for speed. Only use bindings. That's all I use. That is the one advice. Like out of all, out of the whole video, the one advice that I will say that you should one thousand percent do and use and most definitely take from this: use a bonnet. Use a bonnet, please. Don't use no dang do rag. So this is my hair. This is my hair wet and stuff right here too. You know, washing. I was literally washing it like it was normal. Like, like I said, I was not. I wasn't waiting, bro. I couldn't wait. So I legit do this and then legit take this, put it right here, twist it. All the new growth and stuff. I would literally just take it, uh, 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 twist it, uh, 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 twist it, uh, 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 twist it, and then guess what? It's locked. You're done. It's quick and easy, and. On top of that too, I was also doing the two strand twist too with my head. Whenever you like, whenever you do start this though, yo dreads won't look like like dread dreads at all. Like you know what I mean? Like you have to give your time. You have to give your dreads time to mature and actually get them time to get thick and stuff too. They're not gonna look all perfect and all pretty at right. You know, at the beginning. Like look, look right here. You see my dreads right here. Look, two strand twist. I was doing right. Here. You see that? Bow. Two strand twist. I was doing right there. I, how I would party, I would just go row by row. Like that's just how that's how I kind of thought about it in my head. So like I do like the back. So you one one row bow, another row bow, just go row by row and just completing it throughout my head. It took time, but eventually once you keep on doing it, it, it just comes easy to you. But you're like, bro, let me just go out and just do my hair and knock this out. The freeway, I won't even lie, legit the freeway. You're just doing it yourself. You don't have to depend on nobody. All you literally need is just moisturizer and. This right here, this is really all you need, bro. I'll keep it a whole buck to get the instant dreads. Now, when it comes to like the curly dreads, if your hair is naturally curly, that's even better. Your curls, they could end up like mine and stuff, and they, you know, they, they still be curly and still be wavy and stuff at the end. I was blessed to have that. If you don't have that, you can always do but two strand twists all the time. Like, this, that's like, that's legit. I, that's legit all I was doing. Two strand twisting it, and I would, uh, I would. Literally put a rubber band and stuff at the bottom, just like this, bro. Easy, nice, and simple. And I was just two, two turn twisting it. And on top of that, too, I wanted my hair to grow faster. And two turn twisting it will help your hair grow a lot. I'll leave the twist in for at least probably two weeks, probably like two, three weeks, probably like just chilling, just chilling, like with the whole, with the, you know, just chilling. See, bow. This see this up close now, and you see. That's, that's legit all I was doing. Oh, look, all I was doing. And as you can see, the maturity too. This is what my hair will look like whenever I would take it out of them right there. You see them? This is how my head will look whenever I would take it out. And you see how curly and stuff that is? Like, that's how curly and stuff my hair and stuff was after. Imagine my hair is already naturally curly. So it's, just, it's about to look even a thousand times better. All I would do. Legit, all I would do. Bow. See again. You just have to just just let your hair mature. Just let it mature. And, and you see how you see how I did my finger and stuff like that. That's legit. All I was doing just twisting and stuff like that. Just rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. That's legit. All I did. And then at one point I did I did decide to stop retwisting my head. I was like, bro, I'm done retwisting it. My hair got too long. I got tired of it. I like the no twist look a lot more. Like I like this look a lot more. Like and on top of that, whenever I do decide to cut my dreads, I can still keep my hair and stuff too. I ain't trying to go all the way bald and stuff either. I, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to do all that. People be like, Chris, are you willing to get a retwist? Are you thinking about it? I thought about it stuff. I don't really know yet, but right now I am still team no retwist. And on top of that too, I don't trust nobody with my hair. So I mean, if I do let you do my hair, that means I really do trust you for real, for real. Like look, like just throughout these pictures, man, that's legit all I was doing. Just just rinse and repeating. I would just look. Rinse, look, this is the two strand twist. Just rinse and repeating. That's all I would do. And look, y'all see the, y'all see, y'all see the, see the curls. Rinse and repeat. And y'all see how thick, y'all see how thick and stuff my hair is getting. Is because I was letting it. I was like throughout the time, I was just letting it mature. And I was like I said, I was washing my hair like normal, washing it whenever, and just literally just using the crochet needle. And I will say for those people that is watching, if you is using the, if you is using it. Do not, do not start all the way at the bottom of your dang roots like that. Don't do it like that. Leave leave a little bit of space a little bit. You know what I mean? Leave some space. You do. All you do is just all you do is just take it, put it over, twist it. Take it, put it over, twist it. 
take it, put it over, twist it. Just like that. And you see? Bow. It stays just like that. That's it. All you do. Keep moisturizing your hair. Moisturizing your hair is a big part, too. Moisturize your scalp, too. Um, and, yeah, that's really all, though. For real, for real. See? Just rinse and repeat. That's all, that's all I was doing. Just washing my hair, rinse and repeat. And two strand twist just right here. Bow. And I would just keep it in just like that. You know what I mean? Simple, simple easy. And look, y'all see? But I will say, I will say for some of the dreads that was getting skinnier though, or that was like, that was kind of thin, I did put some of them together. Like some of my dreads, they are combined together and I combine them real quick with the with the crochet needle. Just like that. So, you know what I mean? If you really, if, if you really do want dreads instantly and you want them quick and stuff like that, and you don't want to spend no money, go crochet needle for sure. And you know, like I said, if with the curly hair, with the curly hair, if your hair is naturally curly, oh, that's even better. This is about to be way more easier. And yeah, you just do it like that. And on okay, cap, this was the very last time I retwisted my hair. This video right here, this 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 was my very last retwist right here. My very last retwist right here. Let me look at that one more time. Y'all see? Very last retwist right there. And then this is literally all I've been doing. Just been washing it and leaving it like that, man. Washing it. Leaving it like that. That's, that's all I was doing. Washing it. Leaving it like that, bruh. But, man, it's, that's, that's really all I did, bro. It was just simple, easy. So, overall, what did we just learn right here? What did we learn? First. First, be your own person, bro. Have your own style. Have your own wave. However you want your hair to look. If you want your hair to be thick. Like, you know what I mean? If you want your dreads to be thick. If you want them to be skinny. Whatever type of way. Rock it your way. That's the very first thing. Second thing, get you a crochet needle. Go get you a crochet needle. I'm a, uh, if, if listen, if y'all can't find one, let me know. I'll let y'all know, like, where y'all can get it if y'all want to know. And then, obviously, just, you know, get you some more stars, wherever, like that. And then, you could do it a couple ways. You can retwist your hair and stuff like that. And you can leave it in like that. And then, eventually, take them out. And there's going to be all curly and stuff like that. But, hey, man, that's the end of this video, man. Y'all tell me after it's down in the comment section, man. Hope this video did help y'all out, man. But yeah, that's actually that's really all I did, man. Pretty easy, pretty simple, bro. Thank y'all, love y'all. Don't forget to be you, be great, continue, follow your dreams. More bangers will be on the way, man. Love y'all. Peace.